Hi, my name is Russell Trafford from Kelowna, BC. The Canadian Tire Tested for Life in Canada program has sent me the Noma 50 watt solar panel and I have put it to the test by taking it out camping and using it to charge my various devices and um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. So now we're going to have a look at uh, what I liked and didn't like about the Noma 50 watt solar panel while I was testing it. So here we have it. I've uh, already set it up, but uh, first of all, what I liked. Well, here's the user manual. It's very clear, very easy to use uh, and uh, understand. However, I didn't even need that because this is the thing I liked. It was so simple to set up. Here's the solar panel. Here's the stand that comes with it that just sets it up so that you can point it straight into the sun um, at the angle that you want. Then you have the cables that connect it up to the charge controller. In terms of connecting the cables up, it was dead easy. You've got two options here, solar panel and battery. You connect the wires for the solar panel up to the solar panel and the other one for the batteries. It even has clamps that come with it so that you can plug that straight in and uh, then that's pretty much it you turn it uh, you just plug it up and it uh, it starts charging so if we go in the shade here it shows here that it's currently charging and then a light will come on um, when it's charged and the purpose of the charge control is to make sure it doesn't overcharge so um, that's all there is to it really and then uh, from that point you can uh, use the battery to charge whatever uh, devices or uh, appliances you have now Let's see, one thing I didn't like about the Noma solar panel, well, I think it has to be just purely the fact that the charge controller doesn't come with a USB um, option. I mean, that's the only thing for me because the previous uh, solar panels that I've had and um, bought myself um, have had um, USB connectors in the charge controller, uh, which basically means that you can charge your mobile phone devices while you're camping without needing to um, to have various adapters and uh, changing the voltage. Now, the bonus here is all you need to do really is just unplug the solar panel from this charge controller and then you can just um, get another charge controller and use it with this solar panel um, and uh, get one that has the USB input. They're, uh, they're not too expensive, they're really easy to get hold of. Uh, and in fact, that's what I did. Uh, so I've tried it both with the Noma charge controller um, and my own that I bought off uh, the internet. So uh, all in all, I'm really happy with this uh, solar panel. I used a, uh, a multimeter to check how the, um, the charges, uh, the, the currents and the amps uh, tie in and what voltage was being drawn or produced rather by the solar panel. and it was spot on to uh, what they were um, they were quoting. I mean, even on a slightly not ideal day, yes, the voltage was slightly lower, um, but ultimately when it's full sun, I was very happy. The feature I found most innovative about the Noma 50 watt solar panel was the stand. The integrated stand on the solar panel here uh, was simply fantastic because you actually underestimate how useful these things are, especially when you uh, go in camping, which is exactly what it says, ideal for camping, RVs, etc. Um, because it just allowed you to set it up and choose the angle uh, that you wanted for the sun. Um, not to mention the fact that it also comes with the charge controller, so that was my second uh, um, bonus. It's just everything you need, all in one, ready to go. I would recommend this product, the Noma 50 watt solar panel to my friends and family because um, I've really enjoyed using it.